Good news, I got the key, Windows 10, on this computer, even though that Windows 11 came out. I saw it on a TikTok where they were saying, Windows 10 is dead, but it actually isn't. So let's do some stuff we can do, like, for example, talk to Cortana. Hi, Cortana. I'd love to help, but you'll need to update Windows first. You can do that by using Windows Update Assistant. Okay, I'll just check here. So, Cortana doesn't even want to work because it wants you to update it. So, yeah, it says do you want to update your version of Windows. So, even if I talk to Cortana, it won't work because I have to update it. So, let's just go to settings and see if we have enough storage. Right here and then go to storage. Then you can find storage settings, so you don't have to put in the whole name. It has zero bytes. So if we try to free up space now, it barely even works. Okay, we got all this in there. Now what we can do is remove files, and then we probably have enough storage. Steal zero bytes. I don't know if people had this enter before, but... You can see it has still been zero bytes this whole time. Even after we deleted all the files, it still remains at zero. Yeah, I told you this barely worked. So since we can't do Cortana, we can do something else like the Windows Video Editor. There it is. Let's click it. And now I could probably do the video editor. And when I feel the computer, it feels hot. I don't know why. And you could realize this was dust from back to 2015 I had this computer. Yeah, and then video editor just crashed. Probably because the computer was getting hot. So let's do something else. Like, I could still go to Google Chrome. As you can see here, can't update Chrome and free up space to continue. Some features on YouTube.com might not work. Okay, as long as this fixed my zero bytes problem. Okay, clear all data. Right here, then let's clear and immediately get out of Chrome as fast as you can. Let's go back to settings. And see, we cleared some storage. We actually did pretty good. Now, is this enough to reach the latest version of Windows 10? Let's just go to software update. Or check for updates. Updates failed. Windows software removable too. We'll try retrying because they got some storage. But are you sure this is enough? Computer. Getting things ready at 0%. Let's keep checking if everything's okay. Pending install on Adobe Flash Player. This one is pending download. Let's just wait on this for it to go and it'll be okay. Oh, can't install updates. That's the weird message. Updates available. Remove things you don't need in storage. So, that was actually wrong. We didn't have enough storage because I just lost some storage and it got to 44.8 MB. That's only what they have. So, anyway, I was just saying that we should go to Google Chrome because maybe... It would have something good here. Yeah, so I could still do Google Chrome. And as we could see, when we try to upgrade to Windows 11, if you go all the way down to the page, this will take too long because I'm using this thing right here. So let's just speed this up a bit.
and then it says Windows 11 isn't here yet, but will be coming later this year. If you're excited, there are some things you can do in the meantime to get ready, but the PC Health Check app says coming soon. Use the PC Health Check app to see if your current PC meets the requirements to run Windows 11. If so, you can get a free upgrade when it rolls out.